Today we are going to talk about the long-range wireless bird box camera. One misconception that people have about the long-range wireless bird box camera is it is a standard Wi-Fi bird box camera. Actually, it is not. Remember we discussed the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera in previous video? We need to connect the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera to our home Wi-Fi so we can access the live feed on the mobile phone. Basically, we need to give the password of our home Wi-Fi to that camera so the camera can access the network. The long-range wireless bird box camera doesn't rely on the home Wi-Fi to connect the network. You do need to give the password of our home Wi-Fi to the camera. So how the camera still can access the network without knowing your home Wi-Fi? Now, I think it's better to make the connection, you will understand how the long-range wireless bird box camera works. This is a long-range wireless bird box camera. It looks no different from the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera. It is waterproof with the daylight LED built-in. We have a large antenna. The standard Wi-Fi bird box camera also has the large antenna. This is the power input. Remember, the bird box camera has no battery built-in. We still need to provide the DC power to this camera. This is not a reset button. This is a Sydney button. I will explain what this button is for. Now, let's move to the house. Let's uh, pretend this is the place we put the modem or router. The long-range wireless bird box camera comes with an important component called receiver. Remember, the standard Wi-Fi bird box cameras will connect to our home Wi-Fi through the Wi-Fi signal in the air, right? The long-range wireless bird box camera will send the video to this receiver. Then, this connector from the receiver, we are supposed to connect this receiver to our modem or router using a short Ethernet cable. Alright, all right, I think we got the crude how the long-range wireless spur box camera upload the video feed to our network. It doesn't rely on our home Wi-Fi but use the receiver and the connection between this receiver and the modem router is a wire. So that's the reason why the whole system doesn't need to know the password of our home Wi-Fi. Now let's move to the app and try to find the camera. Uh, we hit the plugs and here we got the nearby camera Okay, let's try again. Oh, I think I just mixed one thing. We still need to power up this receiver, right? There's no power to this receiver. So let's power up this receiver and then go back to the app and find a nearby camera. Okay, the camera is discovered. Uh, we hit the play button. Let's hit cancel. Cancel. We have the live feed. Let's just test the live feed. Yeah, this is the live feed. The setup is quite simple. We do need to give the password of our home Wi-Fi to the camera. Since it's something like the wire solution, the app will discover the camera directory. But why we need the long-range wireless spare box camera? What is the advantage for this camera? The standard Wi-Fi per box camera highly depends on the Wi-Fi signal in the air. If there's obstacles such as the trees or walls between the bird box and the modem or router, you're not going to have the strong Wi-Fi signal outside, right? The long-range wireless bird box camera has implemented different wireless technology. It has about twice penetration capacity than the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera. If you just put this camera around your backyard, you can place this receiver anywhere just or just next to a router. You still have the good connection between the camera and the receiver. Since the long-range wireless spirit box camera uses a different wireless technology, so you cannot connect this long-range wireless spirit box camera to your home Wi-Fi directory. You always need to go through this receiver. Also, don't expect this camera system can provide a Wi-Fi hotspot just like the standard Wi-Fi bird box camera because they use a different frequency than our standard Wi-Fi bird box camera. The second advantage is the distance. 
the long-range wireless box camera can reach ultra long distance up to 500 feet. Let's say you want to put this birdhouse pretty far away from your house. It's about 500 feet. You still can use this long-range bird box camera. But you need to put this receiver outside of your house to have the clean side to the camera. Since we only can have one, either the ultra long distance or the high penetration capacity, we cannot get both at the same time. Basically, if you want a longer distance, then you are going to lose the penetration capacity. You need to make sure it has the clean side. There's no obstacles such as the trees between the birdhouse and the receiver. This receiver is waterproof. You can place this receiver outside. It also supports the PoE power over Ethernet. You can send the power and the signal by using an Ethernet cable. The maximum distance between the receiver and the network is 328 feet. We can place this receiver pretty far from our house to have the good wireless connectivity to this camera. One receiver can handle two cameras. Remember, this is we mentioned this is the Sydney button. It's not a reset button. When we try to connect the second camera to this receiver, we just need to press those Sydney buttons on both camera and the receiver at the same time. Hold it for five seconds, then release it. Then the new camera will be added to this receiver. But just notice when we try to use one receiver to work with two cameras, it will compromise both penetration capacity and the distance. One more thing, there's a 64 gig micro SD card built into this camera. The camera will save the video files to the micro SD card directory. Then we can use the mobile app to play back or download the files from this micro SD card. We don't need to remove the card to read the video files. All right, that's all for today's video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to output the video from those cameras to a big TV. See you in the next video.